uh, hindsight of the public participation that we did, and also from the public opinion which was communicated to Kenyans through an agency that conducts opinion polls. It is vitally important to remind Kenyans that through the public participation that we did on Friday and Saturday, it was overwhelming that Kenyans were in approval of the motion and therefore we must respect their position. We must also remind Kenyans that an agency by the name TIFA has come up with an opinion polling which again has indicated that Kenyans are in favor of the motion. Therefore, even as we debate today, even as we agonize over this motion, even as we consult the Honorable Wengi Mutuse, as we have done from time to time, as regards this motion, it is quite clear that Kenyans are in favor of the motion carrying the day. I therefore respect the position of Kenyans, I respect the position of my constituents of the Raqqa, and I do confirm that I rise to support the motion. That today, the motion that has been brought to this house to have His Excellency the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, the Honorable Rigathi Gachangwa, impeached, carries the day by a vote to be taken by the House. I must commend the Honorable Mwengi Mutuse, who is actually my Vice Chairperson in Justice and Legal Affairs Committee, for work excellently done. And repeat the position he has made, that we are not a court of law trying a suspect. We are a House of Parliament which is required to just consider whether the grounds advanced are actually substantiated. Do we have reasons to believe that the grounds advanced are substantiated? Having listened to the mover, having looked at the documentation, and I confess we have burnt midnight oil looking at this particular motion and the supporting documentation, these grounds are substantiated. Allow me briefly to just mention but a few. Ground number one, which is on dangerous divisions in the country, is propagated by the deputy president. The deputy president last night admitted and tried to qualify the admission that he had likened Kenya to a company. There is total difference between likening the government to a company and stating categorically that the government is actually a company. The deputy president in the clips we have watched was candid in a statement to Kenyans that the government is actually a company and that each one of us has or does not have shares in that company. The net effect of this is, if you do not have shares, then you do not belong to Kenya. If you have shares, then you are more Kenyan than any other person who has lesser shares than you. This is the dangerous division which this house must frown against. And it must hold squarely against the deputy president. The second admission he made which is a very strong ground of this motion, is breach of collective responsibility. It has been clearly stated that the cabinet includes the deputy president. The president is the principal, the deputy president